Okay, come back for an update on the sneak peeks. Today is Monday, I think it's the 4th. Um, by right, show we should be here doing some type of setups because they let me know they were coming. And uh, let's see what's different to the other day. I can see some differences. Some extra trucks, but it's actually here, I don't know. As you saw last time, Speed 1 and 2 and Triple XL was on the grounds. Midnight Express looks like it's here too. Still no water in the splashdown. I know that uh, the owner informed me they've got some bits and pieces to do because they powder coated uh, quite a bit of it. So I've got to put that together. Gravitron is here. Sorry for the wind noise. So speed two is down. Speed one is currently partly up. Triple XL looks like it's pretty much set up. Okay, I've just seen the sink out of the corner of my eye. I was like, what's going in there? But it looks like they're gonna put wipe out where G Wiz was. So uh, is that uh, is that cliffhanger? And that's cliffhanger. Okay, wave swingers on set, show with Dodgem cars is here as well. They're setting the Dodgem car up in a different spot. Or are they? Maybe not. I can never remember the name of this stupid ride. Is it the Wicked Worm? Roller coaster? That's still there in the spot. Game's a chance, it's being set up. A lot of uh, what we used to is in the same spot. Some things are slightly moved. Like I said, I didn't think the um, Show West bumper cars, Dodgem cars, was quite in the same spot. It's apparently three meters over. So they're now gonna put some stalls up to the left of it. Um, talk is that next to Wipeout, so where the original permanent ghost train used to be that was Show West, that is where Power Surge is going to be situated. Um, they're actually spending time on flattening the ground out. Teacup. I believe this could be West Coast Carnival's convoy. Because we've got Gravitron and we've got um, Cliffhanger. Another Dodgem track. As I said, Midnight Express. Owner of the new wave slider. And um, the drift cars up near the dog pavilion is on ground, so no doubt he's going to be trying to get wave slider finished, put in together. Uh, in the last video, I said about that this building was getting a makeover. If you remember, on that wall was some trucks and I think cars and advertising toys, so they paint over it now. wave slider they're putting it together more so hopefully in the coming days it will be set up as you can see there's an upright leg it's 
so that's roughly how high it's got to go up. Another supporting leg. Don't know what that's from, whether that was from the uh, Froft Town festival they had on. I don't know. Yep, well, apparently that's going to be on the way with the show this year. Chairs have all still been up there since last year, so they're probably going to start greasing and checking tensions and whatnot. Show West Kitty Land slowly being put together as well. So, what we got so far? Dragon Wagon, Taxi. Is it the Fiesta or the Salmon Balloons, the helicopters? Okay, I'm going to jump to an assumption this is a drift dodging cut. Same owner as the wave slider. He usually has this area. Let's see if we can find any markings. No, nice and tight. But I assume that's what it's going to be. Just want to say thank you to everybody who's been watching our videos for everybody that's reached out in before i started doing the videos asking was i going to be doing sneak peeks this year and for those that have actually watched the two that we've already done number one wasn't that interesting unless you're a die-high fan of the show um that's just a drive through the showgrounds the last one was pretty inc incredible uh, a lot of information um this one Updates on the rides, um, not really at this stage any more information beyond what we said in the last one, which was to do with the Ghost Train Dr. Scary Asylum um, building is going to go after this year. As we previously stated, Show West Permanent Dodgeman Track is going to go after this year. So, yeah, some things changing. As you've seen probably in the previous videos, some of the buildings have gone. So, sorry if I'm puffing and panning, but it's about the only time I do any exercise in the whole year is when the showgrounds come around. Don't know if they're current for this year or not, but. So. More show bags and stuff getting organised and set up. So, uh, slowly coming together. Steam tractors are slowly being put in spot and set up as well. I don't know if there's been place for the show. That one over there too. Unless they've got some other activity on in between. So we're walking around the showgrounds looking for ice buys. Just in case there's something hidden away that is of interest. I come a different route and I was like hey, it's a different ride but it's not we just come a different angle to the first world so the last sneak peek that I did I let you guys know that this place and I'll try and get it out again is going to be the best place to get a Philly cheese steak burger 
Now apparently, um, I was told as I was leaving last time, this is another building that apparently is destined to go after this year. So, if you get the chance, get in here, get some memories, get some photos, and uh, I think they're keeping their price at 10 bucks for the Sizzler. Um, I was told last time too that you'll be able to get a ride on, if you do the deal, a ride on the Sizzler, a ride on the spinning 3D Asylum coaster, and a visit into Dr. Scary's for $30, and you also get a slushy cup, um, a limited edition one. So, okay, I've been told the same might be happening here, but we have to wait to see. I can't say anything. We'll see how we go. Okay, I've just been informed X Coaster is going to go after this year's show. So if you haven't ridden it and you want to, I'd be doing it this year. Um, it's going back to Singapore, so a lot of changes down for Sideshow Alley, apparently. Um, most of what is being done is to make it possible to have more rides and events down here. So we'll see how it goes. So I've been asked not to come back until the 18th. Um, they love our sneak peeks themselves, but they would like to have more of a setup and establishment of all the rides. Um, as everybody knows, things can change on a daily basis, but by the 18th, they should have a better understanding of what exactly is going to be here and not here, even though there's a lot here. So, we'll have to see how things go.